Boom. Everybody, welcome back to episode number 11. Right? Seven why, are ask, why are you asking Dude, me? Dude, I forgot you don't remember. You don't remember don't things. Know the episode numbers. But I'm pretty sure it's episode 11. Welcome back, everybody. Another week what where is this? nothing is. It'll record over it. <laughs> Another week where. Really, nothing happening, man. In the game, oh. in, the, in the scene of gaming and TV and movies. I know She Hulk just came out, but you haven't watched that quite yet. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so <clears throat> there's nice. a few things that we can talk about today. Also, Ethan's uh, not wearing a hat so you can see his hairline. I'm for not the first wearing time. a hat so you could see my beautiful hair, dude. It's because I got all spivvied up because I had a great experience. What are your thoughts on that? No, actually, I went my to. My thoughts are. I actually don't know. Pretty good. There's no. There's no way I'm not allowed to say this, right? Like I. Uh, no, you're not allowed so to. So obviously we are in Toronto, and obviously, obviously, as you can tell. So we're based out of Toronto. Obviously, you guys by, can tell by our back <laughs> and uh, by our backyard. And yep. today I had the pleasure of touring the office spaces of Overactive Media. That's why I'm all dressed up. Had to look, you know, nice. I can't look like. God damn, like you. Um, <laughs> this guy, man. Come over so, here. I'm yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it was a really cool opportunity. Their their space is super cool. It's it's You where, wore your puka shell necklace. I wore my puka shell <laughs> necklace, dude. It's where like all of the Toronto esports, not all of the Toronto esports teams, but every single Toronto one. Ultra for the, in the CDL and the Toronto Defiant in the Overwatch League, the OWL. Um, that's where they train and scrim and that's kind of like the oh my god the ov the 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 organization that owns those things so I got to tour that um, office build a bit of a relationship you know networking you know how it is in the in the, in the, in the in the in the boring okay. oh my god I just actually got a notification that goes off when something's too boring yeah <laughs> you have a self boring yeah oh my report. god dude that's I love. I mean, Anytime I don't know if I can say word. I love Chris D'Elia because of the, you know, the stuff, but it was clear that it was, I think it was clear. false. Yeah. I think I don't or know. false or just like, okay. Like, I don't know enough about that not situation. illegal, but either, either way, he makes those jokes on the, on the podcast that he's on. Sometimes he'll be like, shut up. Someone will be talking about like, there was one clip where the guy was talking about like glycogen levels and all of a sudden you just hear Chris D'Elia, shut up, dude. <laughs> Shut up. That's boring as all get out. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Guys. It's pretty funny. And you experienced VR for what, the first time? Tell me. First tell me, time. Tell me a bit about. The cords are tangled. Tell me a bit about someone else's experience in the VR chat. They looked like they were having fun. Mm. Mm. Ray? We, we shout out Ray so much in this podcast. Too Does much, he but he said Does that he. Does he ever say anything? Yeah, he says he hates it. The shoutouts or the podcast? Both. Well, he says he hates no, you. Come on, please. Tell him I'm good. Tell him I'm good. <laughs> Tell him I'm good at games. Um, so, what Ray, Ray said it? that he would be on He'd the Christmas it. special. Why? So, why? I told him oh, he should I know come why. and dress as Santa Claus. No, he's going to. Yeah. He well, then. Be, he should be Santa. He'll be able to hop on for the Christmas special where. We're probably going to expose ourselves as like the right wing Christians no. that we are. We're going to talk about no. Christmas and the true meaning no. of Christmas. So get excited for that episode. And it's Ray a would red cup. Perfectly. You get your penis to check on the chain <laughs> storm. You just got in a stand storm. It's a, it's a red cup. <laughs> yeah. So no, but back to VR. Look, tell me. I, I've only done. Yeah. What does VR stand for? Do you think? Virtual chat. No, that can't be right. No, that's VK. augmented reality. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, that's that can't is. be right. Um, oh, virtual intelligence? Yep. No. The bit's can't be, dead. Can't be. The, bit. the bit's dead. I was hoping you were going to oh, say like, stands for. something funny. Okay, wait. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Um, it stands for Vroom. Oh Vroom chat. God, I wish I had okay, so, asked that question. Uh, guys, VR is pretty cool. Tell us a bit about yourself. Cool. Guys, I'm from Toronto, as you can tell. Um, that's it. About me. No, tell us. Seriously, though. The, the people are waiting at home. They've already clipped... They're already, clipped, no. they're already clipped off. They've already clicked off the podcast. Tell me uh, what what game you played. Why don't I hold the mic here? Would, is face. it worth the money? Oh, my God. Well, people probably at home better like that. Yeah, they probably won't be better, like probably that. better like that. Um, tell us a bit about your experience in VR. What game you played? Tell us about is the it price. worth the money? 
Tell us how much you paid. Let's for that just experience. say this. I want one. Wow. Ooh, which one? Which? Nope. Um, I was gonna ask which uh, which VR headset you use, but not sponsored. Blur the title. Well, it's not sponsored, but not I'll sponsored. Say but if you want to sponsor it, yeah. But I'll say it. It was the MetaQuest too. Okay. Hmm. And what was it good? Yeah, that's, that's the wireless good. one, right? Mm-hmm. I think my buddy Quinn has that, and I used it once to play. You ever play Super Hot? No. Did but they I have played, Super Hot on it? I didn't look. I played uh, Beat Saber. Yeah. Classic. How was it? Fun. It seems like hard. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like really hard with the direct. Did you have like the directional mm-hmm. ones? I don't Man, understand how you can see. make it look easy. Also, they make it if look. If you easy, have but never it been does, like it, yeah. in VR, it's. But you didn't have the headset on though. I didn't have the I didn't have the head. So you could he still here around you or what? Well, the the MetaQuest Two, which is formerly known as Oculus. Um, okay, don't remember asking, but go on. Sorry, I'm just a slave to the Zuck. <laughs> no, you're a slave to. Well, so here's what happens when I put the MetaQuest Two on. It actually like ah, I felt like a little my like, temple. Yeah. And now, like every time I blink, I just see Mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like. Like, I can't speak. I can't say, I can't, like, I can't say anything bad about it. Like, I'm trying to. Yeah, say it. Like, Mark Zuck, like, I Love. hate how good Mark Zuckerberg no, looks. No, come on. I can't do it. I hate how amazing his ass is. Yeah. No, please. Um, No, so, it, I, I mean, it didn't have a headset. It Well, it didn't have headphones. But Literally, was- the, put the headset and their speakers... And the way that the speakers are, it's like their surround sound. Were they when you loud speakers, it. or they were like going in you? Because yeah, I know they, that they there's am, they go right into no. Because I know that there's these headsets that don't actually go in your ear; they sit like on your temple. No, it's not. It doesn't even go. It's just the the face, the little straps around your head, and then the the speakers are in the. But can people around you yeah. hear it? Oh, okay, okay. But not as loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, and you only played cool. Beat Saber. You didn't. I played Beat you Saber. Didn't hop in the played... metaverse. I played a boxing game and oh my god, that was tiring. Did you go into the metaverse and troll people? Oh, oh, shoulda. Dang, I shoulda. shoulda. Why didn't you? I don't wanna. Tell us a bit about why you didn't. Um, because I still not- think the metaverse is stupid, but hmm. I think VR okay. is really cool. I think the metaverse is just kind of targeted towards really sad people. Right. Like Dwight Schrute. Have you ever? I, I know you don't like The Office, but yeah, there's a whole there's a whole scene where he has a sec where there's this game called Second Life, mm-hmm. and he has a character in this Second Life, but he just made himself the exact same, <laughs> except he can fly. That's so funny, dude! You probably like Friends. Oh come on, <laughs> no man, they're um, equally as bad. But yeah, no, I think the metaverse is for like people who can't really make friends on their own, but that's like in real life, but that's fine, I guess. Um, or for people who just want to spend their money on NFTs, which is also cool, I guess. Yeah. I would be in the NFT game more. If like I I'd rather just, I'd rather just go play VR chat. Yeah. But that, yeah, well, yeah, but I don't think you can do the same stuff. No, probably not. And also metaverse can't hang just- out with Zuckerberg and have sweet baby rays. Meta. <laughs> Metaverse is just being built. Like, it's not... This isn't the end. We're in the ground floor. Not even. We're in the basement. That's the thing. That's the thing. Same with, like, a lot of these things, like NFTs and Bitcoins. uh, Bitcoins, uh, like, cryptocurrencies. I'm not going to sit here and defend them like I'm this huge advocate for them, but... No, but you are. And say why you are. But I... I... Because... As a right-wing conservative Mm -hmm. Christian, Christian, tell us how you uh, would like to defend NFTs as well. Well, money... Makes the world go around, mm. and I think that but the rich get richer. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Money can't buy happiness. Technically, the rich don't get richer because it's the only the rich people buying the NFTs from artists. But you do have to put money. But in. time is money. What mm-hmm. do you think about that? No, not anymore. They scrapped that. Uh, so what saying. is time then? Time is. Relative. What does that mean? Well, time's relative. That's the thing. So like, if time is money. And time mm-hmm. is relative. So that means money that is mean relative. everything is just whatever I want it to be? Yes. I this want, is a simulation. I want all. you to be a Twix. Dead. I want you to be dead. Are we dead? Are we dead? Um, 
But well, man. no, I just think like uh, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, metaverse, that kind of stuff, that whole first off, I would say in general, moving forwards, I don't fully get it. I'm not going to say that I'm this crazy, but that's what you're saying into it. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to be the one sitting around talking shit about it and then have it actually do what people are having like meaning for it to do. And then be like, oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Like, I'd rather, I would rather, it's stupid. But You'd rather just have no opinion. No, it's, ra- it's, it's and strategic. Just, and just, I would, I would rather, well, like no opinion slash. No opinion and then uh, just I'm, side I'm with the more, right party at the end. No, I'm more on the side of metaverse and Bitcoin and stuff mm. because I'm not going to. Tell gonna, us why. Because if it, if it turns into what it's meant to turn into, I don't look like the idiot. <clears throat> Listen, I don't have anything against like the you're gonna like you're se. gonna sit here and be like metaverse is stupid, Bitcoin's stupid, NFTs are stupid, but then when that's the direction that everything goes in, well now you're the stupid one. Well not now. Well but I now already you're know even that I stupider. am. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm just saying like I'd I'd rather just like not I'd rather just sit there and be like yeah to be honest it's kind of cool but, but I don't really get it here's instead it of is. like no it's stupid uh no it's so stupid nobody should ever do it like well. Like well, the that's people, dumb. the people who shit on video games at the beginning, still don't give a shit about video games. So like, and they're stupid. For that. I don't give a shit about NFTs, and even if NFTs become the next big thing, I still won't give a shit about them. That's fine, and you don't have to. But if you're in the business of making money, I would say any technological advancement, like you if you want to be never, a top, if you want to be a top G, yeah, if you want to be a top G or a CEO, <laughs> you or... should never like just shit on the advancements of technology just because like you don't get it because then you just look like an uneducated loser like yeah, i don't want you to think that i don't Dad. get them <laughs> <laughs> um no it, i don't yeah, even no. get it i don't even fully get it i'm not saying like i'm this metaverse expert i'm just saying like that's cool i don't really get it but i'm not just gonna sit here and say it's dumb that's dumb because then when it is what it's supposed to be then i'm like cool I was never wrong. <laughs> That's the thing. Never want to be wrong. If you just never have an opinion, you're never wrong. Exactly. Um, and people shit on the internet and said that wasn't going to do anything. And yet it isn't. Here we are. You're on the internet watching this. I'm on. Oh my God. What was I'm I on doing there? I'm on not on the internet. Am I? No. Your whole, I don't think your whole job and livelihood revolves around the internet. No. Idiot. You doubted the internet. Idiot. I Idiot. was. You doubted the internet. When it was first coming around, yeah, I was like, Yeah, when this it was first coming around, anywhere. you're like, this ain't going anywhere. This stupid cancels. This is a phase. This is just Mark Zuckerberg trying to get us <laughs> with this getting going. Yeah. Just trying to get it going. Um, no, I'm I'm not saying that the um metaverse is stupid. I'm saying no, that you did in I'm this podcast. That, um you're stupid for thinking that I created that it's, the metaverse. For thinking that it isn't stupid. Think about that. But I'm just saying, if you're not in the business of making money, then you don't have to care about anybody. <sighs> anybody. Damn it. Why can't I just speak normal? Um, but if you're in the business of making money, I would say, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. But like, if this is the way things are going, don't fight it, bro. Just let it happen. NFTs, I would be in NFTs if I had money to invest into it. It's a, it's, it's a lot of money to get into the NFT game which I don't have that kind of disposable income yet. Going to be going to be making a million. Going to be really close gonna be really soon, a couple gonna days. Going to be making money soon. <laughs> but currently I'm at zero. I'm going to be making soon? money off these videos soon. Okay, soon. Just you watch. But Bitcoin, yeah, I won't lie, I got some Bitcoin. Because I don't have a I don't have a ton of it. But like what if what if you sunk $10,000 dollars into one Bitcoin? Especially, well that's not a lot of money for me. But you're not making money yet, though. Not yet, because it's still on the down. But when Bitcoin inevitably, I might sound like an idiot in eight years from now, but with Bitcoin, if Bitcoin, which I think it will go back up because Bitcoin and cryptocurrency has only been around for a very, very little amount of time. And the way these crypto analysis, analysts, analysts, right? That's the word, right? Did I get it? Was it right? No. Analysts are talking about it. Bitcoin's like not even close to what it's meant to be. And so maybe it'll never get there. But if it does, if all of a sudden, so 
if all of a sudden Bitcoin shoots up, that doesn't affect you. You sound like such it a affects nerd. Me, dude. You're such a. Nerd. I just made eight million dollars if it goes up one percent. Go oh, no. So I don't know. I I just I, if I if I had more money, I would definitely be not in metaverse because that I don't I don't even know how to get into metaverse. I don't I don't know how that happens. I but feel like the metaverse, people just say it and don't actually know what it is. So I don't I, give a don't shit about really metaverse. Know, but I don't really know what it is. I know what it's meant to VR be. VR gaming. Okay. Blessed. Sick. Yeah. VR gaming blessed. I feel like it's the same people. It's totally the like... The same people who... You can't really prep yourself for like when you put the goggles on and then you're like, oh my God. Yeah. It's kind of like a dream, but reality. <clears throat> well, dreams are reality. You're still... I was like... I, 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 I had to do like take a wide stance because there was times where I was like, just I didn't want to fall man, over. Forgot how to stand. I couldn't stand. My oh, legs no. were broken. Oh no. Uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh no. What was I going to say? Probably something stupid. Something metaverse. I think probably it's mad. I really want to get on there. I really want to get into the metaverse. How do I get on Mark Zuckerberg? Let me know. Um, yeah, I think uh, Metaverse... Oh, oh, this is what I was going to say. The same people who are sh shitting on Metaverse and NFTs and say, like, they're a waste of money and only stupid people get into it are the same people who believe that you can't make money in the gaming industry in 2022. So, so I don't want to so, hear none of so that. So boomers. Yes. And you. Dad. Dad's a boomer. He has the same mentality as a boomer. He's a boomer. He's got that boomer mentality. It's just, I don't know. I, I'm not going to sit around and be like, metaverse is stupid. Bitcoin stupid. NFTs are stupid. I'm going to be like, well, I don't personally get them, but hey, I'm just going to go with the The flow. only thing I'm confident That's the that way to go. Then really, I'm just really, really stupid as you. Mm. And explain your reasoning. Enough said. The way I look? Yep. Is that dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Mainly the way you look and the way that you speak and sound and mm. act and mm. Mm, I get it. No, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah. So metaverse, cool, <laughs> cool. But you just were playing Beat Saber or what? I already said I could play. Oh yeah, Beat Saber game. and Blade Stars. Um, but I do Stars really want to get a VR headset. But here's the thing: get I don't know if no, I can't. Um, but I don't know if I would want the like the Oculus the Meta Quest. Or PlayStation VR. Ooh, definitely not the PlayStation VR. Why not? Less options for games. There is that, but but like I, I don't really like the and, meta, the meta goggles only have like but with weird games, right? Yeah, like but, but PlayStation VR has like Walking Dead. I wonder if you can play games off of Steam with your meta headset. Yes. Well then, that then that's then that might. Be I believe so. I have to make a Steam account, but I don't know. Is there any other VR stuff? Because the Oculus is just the well. Meta. Valve has their own. It's good. Probably. Oh, if Valve has one, that's probably Steam. Well, that definitely is Steam, but that one's wired. I I don't know if I don't know if the PlayStation VR is wireless. I know that obviously the Meta Quest is. Two I think is it wireless. Is. I think it is. But I think PlayStation VR is coming out with PSVR 2, so that might be worth the wait more than getting mm. the first one. But, dude, they're way more affordable than I thought. Like, I thought they'd it's be like thousands. Bucks. It's like $50. 50 No, it's like 600 bucks. What? Yeah, but that's less really? than a PS5. Yeah, well, the PSVR or the... The MetaQuest 2. I remember... I also just hate that it's called MetaQuest 2. That's such a mouthful. Why did you change it from Oculus? That's more of a mouthful. Oculus Quest 2? No, it was just Oculus. Oculus Rift. It was it was Oculus Meta 2 Quest Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> That's fine to say. I don't, know why they changed it. I don't know why they changed it from that. I don't know. I don't know, man. Why did they change it from Facebook to Meta? Also, Meta is such a cringe name. Yes. Meta is so many things. Name it anything else. Meta is what I call my butt. Meta is like, um, like when something's meta, it's like, do you know, do you know what meta stands for? Meat market of Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly. Well, what meta it means for. so many different things. Like well, that's what you're saying. well, the meta in a game is like the meta. Yeah. So what does it stand for? 
if you're such a gamer. I don't know what it stands for. I well, then you're a fake gamer. Yes. Oh. All of those, my Twitch, oh my God. it's just me watching YouTube clips. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't believe this game. Are you, are you naughty? And every time I've you... roasted you in a 1v1 in Playground. Are you naughty on, on Warzone? Nutted, yeah. Have you nutted on I've Warzone? nutted on Warzone. <laughs> No, man. Oh, God, Nadia, dude. That's something else. <laughs> that's something else. That's really funny, though. That's some cringe shit, bro. That's just the worst type of person. We couldn't even talk about it because I feel like that's too niche. That's too niche it's of a thing too, to talk about. It's too, like, well, then she started blaming it on, like, her being a girl a gamer. It's and, just like, bad. It's just it's stay just away bad. from that topic. So. Stay away. Stay away. We I don't know. Yeah. On I, on I one. only, the only thing I've seen of that is, like, um, people who are on the side against her. So I haven't seen like neutral I parties. <laughs> I haven't seen like a neutral third party. So I it's... only just see guys who are just clearly really upset about but a I female mean, gamer in... that are like, guys, I'm going to make a 30 minute video here, breaking down frame by frame. Why this girl is cheating. It's like, bro, go outside and talk to one. Yeah. But in, in the, de in the defense of that guy, well, the frame by frame, but is Warzone's dead. So ridiculous. who cares? Uh, I also, Warzone is filled with cheaters, so like, who cares? Just let them all cheat. Well, no, it's not. It's who like cares. It's, it's like the in the integrity era, of the game. You like still want the, the integrity of the game to be no, true. No, 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 no. Oh, it's like the it's shit. like the integrity, or it's like the era of baseball where everyone was taking steroids. If everyone's taking steroids, then everyone's on the same. But not field. everybody in the content creation is cheating. Well, that's then the cheat. Problem. Well, no, then, then start cheating. Che well, no, then that's just, and then everyone no killed, and you just, <laughs> dude. That's what I play on easy mode. What? No skill. Okay, well, let's put it this way. What if you were a content creator who put a lot of time into beating, into beating, I don't know, what's a hard video game? Let's say you Elden put a lot Ring. of time into beating Elden Ring on the hardest difficulty. Mm. And you were pretty popular because of that. Mm. You popped off on Twitch. Wow. And then all of a sudden, somebody comes in and is like, no, I can do it better. But it's actually them pretending to game their head glitch in their webcam so you can't see their fingers <laughs> and it's just them watching a youtube video but that's not what Nadia is like, doing i know but it's but i'm just saying but that's different cuz that's no, stealing content it's still cheating but that's not cheating cuz that's stealing content regardless if, it's, if, it's, if, it's, if a person the came in, of the if game. a person came in and started using hacks to beat the game i wouldn't give a shit i would start using hacks made the game easier so if somebody okay so let's put it this way so if you beat elden ring on the hardest difficulty legit mm. and you got pretty big cuz of that mm. on twitch now you're irrelevant. I'm irrelevant now. Yeah. Oh no, that that's not part of Why it. Why did I become irrelevant? And then somebody comes in, uh, uses hacks yeah. to beat it, uh, also pops off, okay, but claims that they did it legit. You'd be like, well, no, but I actually did it legit. So no, that's like, fair. I guess you. claiming to do it legit is the problem. Yes. I'm not defending Nadia. Yes, you are. I'm a big fan of hers. Oh, my God. I have all Well, merch. no, but I'm saying like cheaters. It, hey. They never prosper. Cheaters about always that. prosper. Oh my God, do they? She's so <laughs> famous. That was her goal. Well, but it no, worked I, because she, well, I mean, if this was honestly kudos to her, if this was her marketing strategy was terrible. to cheat and get caught and then have everyone terrible because now she's popular. Terrible marketing strategy. Um, but there's no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah. What if some, well, I could think of a million things that's bad because publicity. no one, just like uh, Nathaniel B, no one cared. No one knew who Nathaniel B was. Wait, aren't you Nathaniel B? <laughs> and then you can't handle me. The Wait, only reason why he Nathaniel got popular B? was what because he stole Speed's gimmick. That's not Nathaniel B. That isn't. No, n no. I thought. Okay, I looked up Nathaniel B, and that's who showed up for me. No, that I know who you're talking about, but that's not Nathaniel B. Okay, then you have to tell me who Nathaniel B is. Unless I'm wrong, I could have sworn. Nathaniel B is just like, he's just like, it's there's some clip on the internet of somebody doing, of people doing a rap battle and some guy. No, is oh like, yeah, no, I have Yo, seen you can't that. handle me. Wait a second. <laughs> Ain't you Nathaniel B? But just for the rhyme, but like, that's so stupid. So then it just became a meme of like, oh, you're see. Nathaniel B. I thought, cause I remember I looked up Nathaniel B. Maybe it was just someone used the hashtag on a, on a video. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but anyways, whatever that kid's name is then. Oh, that's the worst type of person. But that's what I'm saying is like, but nobody you, you likes you. You want to not be liked by a single soul. You want to be liked by some people already accomplished. <laughs> what? Liked? No. Unliked? Unliked. Oh, please. Hated. Um, no, it's also just to go back to Nadia. This isn't the first time people have like dissected people's gameplay and exposed them. 
regardless of if they're a girl gamer or a man game. Sorry, boy gamer. A man gamer. <laughs> uh, a girl gamer or a I'm boy gamer. I don't think it doesn't matter. They still get. I don't think exposed. man gamers people, exist. People will still like go so far out of their way to expose cheaters claiming legit. Mm. And Warzone is a very popular game with already a terrible amount of Cheers. terrible lack of integrity in that game. And so we don't want more of it. So if you're going to... You say we as in as if you've ever played Warzone. Well, I just don't want cheaters in any games, like any hacks in any games. I think they're just stupid. Just clearly you're bad at the game. Just be bad. Yeah, I don't care about or hacks just get and single player games. No, easily not. Like mods and stuff. That nah. stuff's cool. Ah. That stuff's cool. Oh, yeah. That stuff's cool, dude. Really cool. But multiplayer games, like, dude, come on. Also, I don't even think she's not like hacking. She's just cheating. Like she'll go on a VPN so she gets really easy lobbies well i only ever see dudes being like she's using aimbot and here's 30 reasons why i've seen that but the aimbot stuff i didn't look like aimbot i think people are just like grasping at straws there but um the the vpn stuff is i've seen there's some sort of program that i've seen where you can go in and look at someone who they're killing she also knows that just by saying you're mad at me because i'm a girl gamer yeah, is gonna trigger everyone yeah, who would be mad at that well because like so that i kind crutch, of man. that kind of makes me laugh though it's such a crutch because though. Like, I, it's so annoying because the type of people who get angry at that specific reason are the type of people that get mad at like star wars having a female lead so like you yeah like me <laughs> No, it's just, it's so, it's such a crutch when you're just, I don't know, if it was actually because of that, then that's fine. But that's but what a lot of people are, but that's the thing is that it, for a lot of people, that is the problem. Yeah. But and that, that, but and she those, is but actually I'm saying cheating. those are the type of, okay, well, the cheating aside. Okay. But I'm saying if this was a dude who was doing this cheating, he would not be getting the same attention. Yeah, he would. Yes, he would. It's happened a lot in the past. No. Yeah. Who? Nick Ninja. Merckx? Ninja. Ninja. He's cheating the whole time. Blevins? <laughs> Not the Blevins bundle. No, that's what I, the, I that's can't what think of specific examples because, you know, it's been that's a while, the Blevins. But I, I've seen people get That's the Blevins blunder for, for cheating. You could probably Google it. If you looked up Warzone cheater caught. Well, that's why you got banned. Yeah, I got banned. But no, that's because I wasn't cheating. They just thought I was because I was nasty. Also, also that reminds me. Go, that Simmerus guy. Who? Uh, the Fall Guys guy who's, give me that crown. Oh. It's too easy, dude. Dude, that I guy, think he won like 25 in a row. That guy is an actual plug, and I don't like him because he griefs to win. I've seen his ah, videos. He that griefs, guy, bro. Fuck that guy. Dude, I won a... He doesn't win legit. He griefs. Okay, we, could, we could take a break here and then talk about Fall Guys because I've been playing a lot of Fall Guys. Guys. All right. Second half, we'll get into Fall Guys. Alrighty, welcome back to part number two. Give me that crown. Too easy. Too easy, dude. All right, tell us about your... Okay, so guys, last moving night... Moving on from the negative side and shitting on everything. To probably, I've, been, and, I've been promoting everything. Bitcoin and everything. <laughs> I'm pro. Yeah. You're the near the neg. Whoa. Pause. Cut that. Cut that, cut bro. That, okay, that, okay. That, so, that, Fall Guys, tell us. You guys, started playing the yesterday. I wish that I had been playing Fall Guys earlier, man. Really? I, I'm having so much fun. Solo. Solo. Really? And I'm getting good. I'm winning solos. Oh, you're getting I think that I have crown. Like, I think I have like 8,800. I'm trying to think of how I think I, I think I have close to 10 solo wins. Dude, and last night I got, because sometimes you'll get to Not the. many. <laughs> I just started playing like yesterday. I started playing right before I came over. But solo wins. I think in I think I've eight. I think I have like a hundred thousand wins by now. Hundred eight thousand. I think I have a hundred eight thousand. But I got the achievement in infallible, which is to win five in a in row. Fall balls, which is to win five in a row. Yeah. Oh, you got it. I got it. Oh, nice. Yeah. On your solo. Yeah. Nice. All right, grats, dude. Yo, grats, dude. Thanks, man. And um, how was it? Was it good. Yeah, it was really good, actually. Um, so checking LinkedIn. I'm checking LinkedIn. I fell in love with LinkedIn. Oh wait, I actually got a message. Yo, all right, we got to end the podcast. I got to oh, look at this he's LinkedIn gotta, message. got to respond to the LinkedIn. Um, but I've never, so there's only, I think there's only two finals where you have to like race to the end and then grab the crown. Yeah. Which is, I think, oh no, I think the original clip was him playing Hexagon, right? I think so, yeah. But I never really yell, give me that crown after I win solos. But I won one of the race ones 
to get you actually grab the crown, the crown. and i just like boom give me that crown. boom give me that crown too easy dude oh my gosh that guy makes me laugh so much but yeah, I, but, I, I like. But he grieves. I, I remember I was I was t- like when I was playing with a couple friends the other day. They were saying that he helped another streamer win twenty five games in a row. Who? The guy you're playing with or Simmerus? Simmerus helped another streamer oh win twenty five, bro. So that guy's just cracked at the, the guy's game. Guy's nasty. The guy's cracked at the game. There's guy no question about that. Meta. But he 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 grieves. Yeah. See, grief. Well, here's the thing. Just, I also grief. BM though. I grief. Um, like, what do you consider griefing? Like when you're on hexagon and you purposely like block a guy, grab him, let go, jump, and you but save that's yourself just, and he drops. That's just part of the game. I wouldn't consider. I know. That I know. It's. I know. It's part of the game. Griefing is what I would. What I would consider griefing is standing at the finish line and waiting for the countdown to go to zero, like like wasting two minutes idiot. of everyone's time. Just that's what griefing idiot. is. Grabbing someone and eliminating them is just playing the well, game. Well, you don't think that's griefing because you do that now. Yeah, but it's not griefing. Like, I'm not going to report someone because Oh, I'm they, not going to report them either. But I'm going to report someone if they are wasting my goddamn oh, time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've done that a million times. Um, But, like, it, it's so satisfying in the the one where there's the spinning bar. Okay. You have to jump over yeah. it. Yeah. It's so satisfying when you grab someone right before the bar sh- jumps to like pause their jump and then you jump and then they go dude i'm having still, so much fun it's man. still pissing me off i'll do it to you and we'll be on the same team and i'm not good it. at fall guys i'm dude. not good at fortnite i have no problem with that see that's the thing is i think i'm not really good at shooters so i have played a I'm lot of rated for- shooters. I, played a lo- I played a lot of fortnite and i never really you got like, I'm much still, better i got much you better say you didn't get better I've gotten much better. Used to like, be an actual liability. I know. <laughs> now you actually get kills. Um, I definitely okay. That's fair. But I have played a lot of Fortnite. Yeah. But like when we were playing Modern Warfare, for that whole run, I got better, but I didn't get good. You can't oh, say got, that, bro. It's skill based matchmaking. You will never know if you're actually getting. But better. Fall Guys is skill based matchmaking, and I'm still winning. Get owned to yeah. your own argument. To your own argument. Well, no, but. That's different because how skill based matchmaking because skill based matchmaking is different in each game, and the mm, one so in Call saying, of Duty is very strong. So you're saying when skill based matchmaking makes you lose, it's bad, but it makes you win is good. No, 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 no. I'm saying, but maybe there's you're different just bad. degrees to skill based matchmaking, and the one in Call of Duty is designed to keep you at a one KD. So if you have above a one KD, oh. then you're doing good. What if you are just ass? Ever think about that? Well, no, because it's not. It can't be. <laughs> Please, it can't be. No, because when I went onto Modern Warfare Three mm. Plutonium .exe and I played against non skill based matchmaking, I was dropping two plus KDs every goddamn game. Did you just expose yourself that you use an emulator? No, everybody plays Plutonium or or IW's Four. What is that? It's like emu. It's like it's like emulators. It's like people canceled. No, how's that canceled? Can- how can't how? Can't your be. internet just got shut down. Fuck. How is that canceled? I just exposed you your IP get, address. Okay, you don't get emulators easily. Kind of like the metaverse, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> but isn't emu- isn't playing a game on an emulator just playing... Like, stealing a game? Like, playing a pirated version? You're not paying for the game. Well, yeah, but it's MW3, dude. It's not even for sale in the game code dude, anymore. You, 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 you think Activision isn't going to assault you, man? They assault also, their own employees. Also, those servers are shut down, dumbass. So you could... Oh, my God, his eyes. Oh, you couldn't even play it if you wanted to. The sides are circumcised. You the couldn't only, even. The only, the only game you, that I would want to get an emulator and play is Twisted Metal. Cause but it's an emulator it's like. Uh, or the N64 Tarzan game. Ooh. Remember that game? That's No, but it's a different type of emulation. Yeah, but I don't care about. You. Like I, I'm, an, done, a, no, 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 I'm done not, with your conversation. Yeah, I'm done talking to you. I'm done. This is a solo podcast. Now. The podcast. Um, no, it's like an emulator where it's the same game, but it's. It's it's like the game Plutonium hosts servers, and so you can hop in a server and play MW3. But how much dedicated WAM do you need for a server? At least a gig. Gig. It's a really sl- little amount of RAM. See, here's the thing. The only computer that I have is my work computer, so I don't want to play emulators on you my work computer. You won't even be able to. It's a .exe, and yours is a Mac. You won't be able to even download it. You don't even get that. So, like, how who's going to listen to your advice on emulation and Bitcoin 
You don't even know the difference between a .dmg and a .ex. A .exe. What's the difference? Um, when I had my old ass MacBook, mm-hmm. I had Arkham City on it. So did I, I. play it. So did I. Was it a .exe? It ran at like two frames per second. Was but it I a .exe? It. I can't remember. <laughs> what the fuck do I tell you like? right now? It wasn't a .exe. If you were running on a Mac, man, come on, get it. Come on, man, get it. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I'm not spending nine thousand dollars on a PC. Shove it up my ass. Well, I did, and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. I spent nine thousand dollars on an I NFT of my nine, computer. Okay, on a fucking get to look at a picture and of my I computer. Shoved it in my own ass. Rolled up into a torpedo. To torpedo? <laughs> Man, you're pissing me off. Um, you don't even get it. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, but anyways, it's an emulation, but I'm not playing against bots. Like I'm playing against other people mm. who are playing the emulator on servers, but you But pick, maybe just that emulator doesn't have skill-based matchmaking. It definitely 100% does not because I'm going into a server list and looking and choosing which server I want to join. I choose it based on ping. No, no, you choose it based on bots. I, I choose it based on skill-based matchmaking. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, which this, ones are like, skill-based? Like, skill-based matchmaking Select. in... in all every game is going to be different because each because I remember this was a while ago back in 2019 so I don't remember exactly if you're what ever I like read but there no nope, if nope, you're ever nope, unconscious nope, 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 and, nope, and you're nope. non-responsive I'm just gonna go into your ear and I'm just gonna whisper skill-based matchmaking and if you wake up that <laughs> be like get rid of it <laughs> be like well let me tell you about skill-based oh, matchmaking skill-based and matchmaking, why I think okay. it should be in games okay then I'll say that skill-based matchmaking is fine it needs to be not as strong as it is in the Call of Duty games then. Because I remember in act in, 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 in twenty nineteen with Modern Warfare twenty nineteen, I remember seeing a patent that Activision made oh, something around their skill like Robert. I don't remember what Robert it was because three years ago. But it was something I read and it was like that is ridiculous. Oh my god. It was I, it? I don't remember. I could Google it, but I don't I don't remember. I remember it reading so it and being angry. like I remember reading and being like Okay, so easily you're just simply punished for being good mm. and you're rewarded for being bad. That, yes. That makes sense. Why do you think I kept playing? All right. So they encourage people <laughs> to not play their game. No, they encourage people to be bad at their game like me. By not playing it. You don't play a oh, game play forever it. and stay bad. Uh, no, you inevitably get a little bit better. No. But you get punished for being better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it simply is that. And it's fine. How are you ever going to make optic if you uh, if you're upset with skill based matchmaking? It was it was meant for Sammy Jones, dude. Uh, I'm gonna make if optic. If all you by, want to play is bots, you're not gonna make bot. You're I'm gonna, gonna make, make bot- optic by being a personality. You're I'm gonna, not gonna be on the pro team. You're you're gonna not make optic. You make a bot bot tick. Optic. You make bot tick. Bot tick. Yeah. No, I probably will make optic or phase Atlanta phase. Or Texas Optic, Depth of Texas, <laughs> the Texas. No, um, I'm still good. Phase I'm still rug nasty from at the game. Elf. Put me up against, uh, put me up against regular people and not sweats, and I will be good. Put me up against sweats, I'll still be good, just not as good. No, you'll be bad. Think about it. No. One v one me then. No. You're scared. I am. I admit it. I admittedly so. I'm scared. I go like this. I catch you get the gun. I go, yeah. And you're dead. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, skill-based matchmaking is fine. We're not going to keep harping on this. I feel like every goddamn podcast we're talking about skill-based matchmaking. Yes, because you keep whining about it. Because I'm hoping one day Activision sees this and is like, you know, this kid's right. No, they would see this the and then they the would doubt. send someone over here to sexually assault you. I let it happen. Whoa. I don't know. Maybe. What's he looking like down there? <laughs> Big could could potentially be down. Oh, <laughs> uh, we shouldn't joke about uh, we that. We should. It's pretty funny. <laughs> well, not the sexual assault part. You no, it's joke. mainly just screw you, Blizzard. That's what that is at the end of the day. Screw you, Blizzard. Screw you, Activision. And shout out Microsoft for buying Activision Blizzard right when they were in the middle of all the, this. That deal hasn't even gone through yet. Apparently, it's not going through until like later this year. Well, it's not going through because like it happened, but they don't actually own <laughs> Blizzard yet. They don't actually own them yet. I think what happened, what needs to happen is like, wait a second, a bunch of one of your clients, a bunch of government, not anymore, not anymore, a bunch of governments or or some sort of a bunch of entities need to Mm -hmm. approve the sale before it happens. And not all of them have approved it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had two Red Bulls today. How am I yawning? Because you're 
were they sugar? Yeah. I find when I have sugar energy drinks, I crash like crazy. I if feel I like have energy zero, drinks really don't do anything for me. If I have zero sugar, we're golden. That's why G Fuel, I think, works like a charm for me because there's zero sugar. No, that's no. not why. No. How much, do you know how much caffeine is in? How many do you do? One scoop or two? I do like one and a half scoops. How much caffeine's in a scoop? Do you know? Probably like 100 milligrams. Probably 100 migs. I think so. It's a lot. I mean, it's, it's probably 100, 100 to 150 but, but like a can is what of, I would guess. A can, like an energy drink can, like a rain, not sponsored, is I think 150 milligrams of caffeine. What are you saying? No. I'm saying no. The answer is no. Oh. Well, a red, I actually can only speak for Red Bull. A red, red Bull can is 80 milligrams. Okay. Well, those are smaller cans, first of all. And rain, it says it on the can. It says it on the can in Red Bull, too. Right. I have a rain at home. I can take a picture of it and send it to you. Okay, well that's it's too either much 130 caffeine. or 150 that much caffeine. But I'm saying it works. The zero sugar. Okay, yeah, yeah. But like I'll have a I'm my main argument is that sugar drinks because you crash off the sugar. Yeah, maybe. That's that's what I could think be. it is for me. Could be, could be. Yellow Red Bull? One was yellow, one was apricot strawberry. Uh, the apricot strawberry one was free. The yellow one was. They gifted it to me at Overactive Media. They're like drink Drinking, you're in your part of the clan. Slurp that shit up, baby. That's what I said. And then I spanked you. On my bear bum. Bear, my bear, bear bum, bum bum. My bear bummy. Bear bum bum. Yeah, it was great. Um, what were we talking about? We were talking about skill-based matchmaking, remember? Yeah, I don't want that, I think. <laughs> um, just, just, okay. Just make skill-based matchmaking instead of trying to bring you down to a one, Katie. Bring us up to like 1.5. Seven, seven, eight. Seven, Is seven. that too much to ask for? Like a 1.5. Oh, okay. Oh, God. What about 1.6? It's not too much to ask for. It's not too much to ask for. Is it? I think it is. No, please. I'm begging. Oh, right. I was going to say, um, so when it was announced that Microsoft was going to be buying Activision Blizzard. You creamed your pants. I oh. remember. I was there. I made it happen. <laughs> um, Phil Spencer, who I think is the CEO of Xbox. He's some big wig at Xbox. He's the guy who mm -hmm. always does like the E3 presentations for them. He said, don't worry. Call of Duty is still going to stay on the PlayStation. Yeah. But now... Well, it's still happening. Now, Sony's starting to get a little nervous. Why? The next... I think, I think for sure the next two are. Right. But I think that there might be some conversations about Xbox making it an exclusive, which I don't think would be good. Can I say something? No. I stopped giving a shit when you started talking. <laughs> no, I stopped caring the moment Ooh. I bought a PC. No, I know that you... Like, I don't care. I don't... And I, I know you don't care because... I don't play You're Call not a diehard enough fan like, Call of Duty Modern player to, like, care if you get something a month early. And also, they don't even do map packs anymore. No, but exclusive. Like, making an exclusive. Will that just be the worst decision they could right. ever make? That... That'd be worse than skill-based matchmaking. But, That'd be but, worse than But it skins. would not be worse for Xbox because people would stop buying PlayStations. They would buy more Xbox. Nobody, like it, would, no. it would kill PlayStation. No, it wouldn't. Well, it wouldn't kill PlayStation. For Call of Duty? PlayStation Nobody said that Nobody is buying one, a console for Call of PlayStation Duty. PlayStation said that one-third of their annual revenue comes from Call of Duty sales. What? Yeah. That's so much. I know. Like the microtransactions and everything? I don't know the exact details. Maybe it wasn't one uh -huh. third, but it was a lot. Wow. Yeah. That's surprising. And Call of Duty fans would absolutely buy an Xbox if they if that was the only place they could play the game, they would buy an Xbox for it. Yeah, maybe. But yeah. Yeah, I guess like if the next one came like out. Like if, if Call of Duty stopped coming out on PC, which it wouldn't obviously. If it's a Microsoft exclusive, it'll stop it'll probably still come out on it PC. It will, it will. But like, well, they well they would be dumb to not release it on PC because I guarantee you, like, like let's say Spider Man Two, the game, they were like, this one's gonna be an Xbox exclusive. Would you buy an Xbox to play? Not it? just for that game. For what if one they said, game? What if they said World of Warcraft is only going on to Xbox? Okay, it's, I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> for one game, I'm not buying a console for one game unless it's a Switch for Breath of the Wild. But Switch isn't seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. But, but but my argument, okay, for World of Warcraft, because that's obviously a bigger game than Spider-Man. I would say World of Warcraft and Call of Duty are on similar levels. Uh, uh, no. Even though they're both, I guess, technically the same. I'd say World of Warcraft is probably bigger. But really? 
Yes. I would say Call of Duty is definitely a bigger money maker. Nowadays, yeah. Because isn't World of Warcraft free? No. $20 a month plus expansions. So. I'd rather buy the Fortnite pass. Yeah. I'd rather be a Fortnite club member. Um, which I am, by the way. And guess what skin I just bought? Venom! Let's go! Biggest hitbox in the game! I know, but I wanted Venom. Um, Mainly so that when we play, I could just yell Venom. Venom! <laughs> yeah, but uh, back to your question, no. I would not be purchasing a console. Call of Duty is the only one that I would consider buying a console just for. But, okay, so... You say you said you just said that, right? So you're very much adamant about not buying a console for one specific game. Yeah. But, and, but I, you just said Call of Duty is the only game that I would consider. Yeah. So even so you, someone who would never buy a console for one game, is saying that you would potentially buy a console for Call of Duty being one game. Which if it would be if multiple it was Call Vanguard, of Duties. Is it Vanguard coming out or is it Black Ops 2 coming out? It's um uh uh, uh it's Vanguard 3. Then uh, simply no. Zombies expansion. Just the Zombies expansion. Yeah. Yeah, that's top. No, like it, it it depends. Call of Duty is too it's But it would be it would be coaster. Call of Duties. No, it I wouldn't just that. be uh, Call of Duty, it'd be Call of so. Duties. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It it would be Duty. <laughs> it would be a game time decision. Really? Yeah, it'd be a game time decision. I don't know. Yawn more. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, You're yeah. As dumb as it can. I definitely would not change consoles for a World of Warcraft, bro. That, that is the most. It's not even. I can't even say it's volatile because it's just. Oh, it's just bad. Now, it was really good back then. It was really back, good back in 2004 when I started playing it. Bro, you need to stop having opinions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I like the game. I like, I like. No, World I really of, like it. No, I actually, really like World of Warcraft. This game like, sucks, but I really, I really like, like World of Warcraft at its base, mm. like as a game. Same with, uh, same with Call of Duty. I actually really love it. The gunplay, like the mechanics of the game. The game. Mm. No, uh, that's just fair. like. It's no, just I, like I, um, I, I respect that take. Are you being sarcastic? No, like I like. I just don't like the expansions that have been. Yeah, like I out. love. They're just, I like, love boring. Fall Guys as a base game. But Epic Games took the payment model and ruined it mm -hmm. because yeah. they like the way again, like I didn't play Fall Guys before Epic Games got it. So how it used to work is you used to win crowns and you use those crowns to buy skins. Yeah. Then Epic got it. They're like, F that noise. Now you have to buy show bucks. Mm -hmm. You want that but Sonic the free? But the game was. Yeah, I guess the game was free. It wasn't at launch on PlayStation. Oh, yeah. And. So if you were able to get it for free, which is what I ended up getting it for free, like first, I never played it though. I just like downloaded it because it was the free game of the month. Yeah. Um, but yes, Epic did make it free to play for everyone, which is good. Mm -hmm. But it's it's annoying when like there's like the last trophy I have for the game is buy 50 items from the item shop. That's so dumb. Now, thankfully in this game, unlike Fortnite, there is... Show bucks, which you buy, yeah. and then there's kudos, which is like the free currency, and you can buy stuff in the shop with the free currency. Yeah, Fortnite, Fortnite don't have that shit. Fortnite's but like, there's no trophies around buying stuff, so it doesn't matter. That's true. All the trophies in Fortnite are around save the world, which you have to buy. I think it's free now. It's not. It's free if you buy the Fortnite crew. Mm. So, so that's you, why so I have it. it. Yeah, I have it because I bought it a while ago. Tried it out, bad. Yeah, um, I did the tutorial. I was like, this is neat. And then it threw me into the actual game. I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Never playing this. You, but it's it's like... Back to normal Fortnite. Yeah, because it's like the the ammo situation is really bad. Have You're you, always out of ammo. I was always wondering those um those videos where you see like, scammer get scammed, scammer get scammed. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think that's I, Save the World. It is, but I don't know why. They're yeah, I don't know, I don't know what that is, is either, but those videos always make me laugh. Um. <laughs> Just because yeah. I like I like I like when um, I like when I hear their like World of Warcraft and Call of Duty, in my opinion, at its base, as the game, like two of the best video games to ever exist, in my opinion. Sorry, but World it's just, of Warcraft and what Call of Duty? Mm. But it's Call just Pooty. it's just the recent basically each game that comes over Call of Duty is like a new expansion basically. Each so mm. I'm gonna refer to them as that. Uh, with the new expansions for both games that come out. They're just like 
The new ninety dollars. Like, uh, well, but this is like I just not, Call of Duty is good a, enough. A one hundred dollar expansion every year. Well, so is, so as well. But Those that's also every EA. Bucks, that's also every EA game that's ever come out. What? I mean, like every sports game is essentially just buy this year's game for the updated roster. No, no, it's not that. It's like. Um, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like when the new WoW expansion comes out, I love WoW. I love the customization of it. I love the classes. I love the lore of it. I love the you big lore the, guy. The, the, the playing with my friends. Playing I love, with yourself. I love the zones. I love the mounts. I love the the transmogs, which is like the different armor that you can get. I love that. So good at its base. The mechanics of the game are a ten out of ten. But then the problem is that. All of that old content is irrelevant. So all of the good content is irrelevant. There's no point of doing it. At least like I've already done most of the old content because nowadays you can just rinse through it because when you get it reach a certain level, you one shot everything in old expansions. And then the new expansions are just like, uh, like it's not really that fun. It's kind of boring. It's kind of repetitive. So it's like the game is fun, but just like what it is now is just like I've already kind of done everything in the game to do. And same, yeah, like, with, same with Call, Call of, Duty. of Duty. Every online is the exact same every single year. Yeah, and and adds base. The only thing the that's different is a the lot only of thing fun. that's different in Call of Duties every year is the campaign, which a lot of people don't play. I mean, mm -hmm. like, I love I well not love love is a strong word for for Call of Duty campaigns. I enjoy Call of Duty campaigns for the yeah. most part. Yeah, it's pretty good, S except for Black Ops Three. That was my least favorite gaming experience, maybe ever. That campaign was so bad. Um, yeah, well, that's why you didn't like Black Ops Three. That is one multiplayer of the reasons was why. great. Also, yes, Battle or Battlefield, also a bad game, 2042. Um, but Black Ops 4 is the one where it takes... That's why it's called Black Ops 4. It's because it takes four headshots to get a kill online. There was a, It was a long time to kill, but I still really like that game. Also, apparently there's stuff that came out. I didn't watch the video, but there was originally going to be a campaign for Black Ops 4, and they just scrapped it. Was there no campaign for Black Ops 4? No. Oh, interesting. It was online only. And I think it was, I think it was multiplayer and then Blackout. I think that was like... No, that there was, was zombies. And zombies. Was yeah, but zombies? there wasn't campaign. I actually don't know if there was zombies. That's why I didn't play Black Ops 4, because I'm like, there's no campaign. I'm not sure. But I think what Modern Warfare and what Infinity War did, they did in 2019 as well, and they're doing it again this year, is they released the campaign a week earlier than mm. the multiplayer. So I'll play it. Then I'll play it. The campaign. But you have to pre-order it. Oh, well, I'm probably not doing that. That's what they did. The campaign gets released a week earlier so people can play it. Without being like, I'd rather play, I'd rather grind multiplayer, mm. which I really like, because that's my mentality is like, I'd rather just grind multiplayer than waste my time playing campaign. But if I'm like, there's nothing else to do, I might as well. That's why I played the Modern Warfare campaign, because mm -hmm. it came out a week before and they're doing that again this year, which I think is really smart. But you got to yeah, pre-order. I'm definitely not pre-ordering. You got to pre-order it. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm kind of over pre-orders and I said that, but I pre-ordered God of War Ragnarok 110 days before. I think it's, it's like you out. said, if I trust any developer to make a good Call of Duty, it's Infinity Ward. Yeah. Treyarch made the Black Ops series, which was good. But Infinity Ward, like, I loved, obviously, all the Modern Warfares. Um, uh, uh, what was the one after Modern Warfare? Ghosts. I liked Ghosts. Everybody hated Ghosts. I liked Ghosts. Infinite Warfare, I know a lot of people hated. I didn't mind it. it was, was that the one with Conan McGregor? Yeah. I, I know a lot of people didn't love it. I didn't dislike it necessarily. And then Modern Warfare 2019 was not terrible. I got the Platinum for Advanced Warfare. That was good. The game? I actually didn't mind that. I mean, I liked that it That game I didn't enough. mind either. I enjoyed it enough to get the Platinum. Honestly, I didn't mind every single Call of Duty up until 2019. Up until 20, 20, or 2020. The 2019 Modern Warfare wasn't even that bad. It was bad. It could have been much better, but it, it wasn't bad. And then Cold War and Vanguard were just reskins of of Modern Warfare. Like whatever. I'm not gonna <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. But the Cold War zombies were really good, so that's why I bought that game. Hmm. That's the only. Oh no, I played the campaign in Cold War, which I I, I enjoyed. But then Vanguard just had nothing to offer. Vanguard, I didn't even. Open the zombies that. were terrible. I didn't even look at Vanguard. The zombies were terrible. I've told you about the zombies. There was no, there no, they was weren't it, zombies. They was were I, just, was I, they were hanging out. No, I was telling you, or was I telling Max about there were no rounds. Oh yeah. You're there was just that. like brutal one map and it was just reused. Who made this one? Sledgehammer? It was Treyarch who made the zombies, which I don't know how they went from cold. It, it, Sledgehammer made Vanguard, but it was Treyarch who made the zombies. I don't know how they went from cold war zombies to this pile of bungus. 
gaming industry. But, but I don't know. It doesn't make sense. So there was she really, trends up and she there, trends down. There was down. no value proposition in Van, for Vanguard. So I didn't get it. But ideally, I get Modern Warfare 2. Um, I, trust, I trust Infinity Ward to make a good game. Yeah, like... I, it, I never consider buying games, and I'm probably going to buy Modern Warfare 2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, games. I never consider buying Call of Duty games. Yeah. Um, although I am now more of the mentality, like, now that PlayStation Plus Premium comes out, I just have so much hope that they're going to add actual games that I want to play on there. But, I mean, they added Yakuza 0, which I definitely want to play. They're supposed like, to add all the Yakuza's yeah. by the end of the year. But they only added, like five games this month and it's like and yeah. no and no retro games is, which is every weird. game that was on playstation now there uh i think so they mer okay. they merged that over yeah but i was like, gonna say but like there's they no didn't reason even, why they shouldn't be the whole point of having premium is to also have access to the playstation one and two games and then they just didn't add any of this i month. saw something online like, that oh, was like playstation extra is really I? good but premium needs a little bit more of a value Premium literally like needs to well, be a when they're not when it. they're not adding retro games, it's like why am I paying for this? So X so PlayStation Extra is three four. I think it's I think it's three four five. Mm. And then premium has so extra is more worth it. Then. Premium has one two three four five, and then you also get the trials. Um, trials Fusion. You get Trials Fusion, which you well yes actually you do get Trials Fusion, um, but you get like the game trials. No, I think I, premium. One, I think premium is only PlayStation five games. Or some PlayStation 5 games. Because I know Valhalla is only premium. Maybe. So I think extra might be 3, 4, some 5 games. Maybe. And then premium is all of them. I don't know. I have premium, but it's like add more games. Come on. Yeah. You have like Once they start adding more games, I'm going to I'll, I'll games probably pay in your for library. It. Just add them, man. Like I think oh as soon God. as they add Odyssey, or sorry, Origins and Odyssey, Assassin's Creed. I'll probably buy it because I want to play those games, but I can't. Sucks. Unless I play on my PS4, which I'm not doing. So, anyways, guys, I have to go to the bathroom really badly. Guys, he's going to shit his pants. He already has. So, smell it we're going to call the episode there. Thank you all so much for watching. No battery dying this episode. Let's go. I didn't even realize. Yeah, and uh, let's go. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the next pod. Boo. Boo.